Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special guest. Hello, I'm Francesca from Palantfully Based and I'm here with Lauren and we're doing something fun today. So today I went to Aldi and I picked up literally every vegan product I could find. I think we have about 20 products here yeah. to try. So we are going to go through everything. It's a wide variety of stuff. Lots of meat replacements, some fun snacks. Vegan cheeses, vegan ice yeah. cream. We got a lot of good stuff. I'm yeah. pumped. I know. Let's get started. We're going to start off with like the appetizers first. So I picked up these cheddar crackers. They're supposed to be like Cheez-Its. And then this one is just sea salt crackers. And I thought these would go well with the dips that we got. So we have the dill pickle hummus, garlic dill hummus, and then queso. So I'm excited about the queso. Oh, and we have these. Um, yeah. For their nacho cheese tortillas. So kind of like Doritos. I think these are also all gluten-free. I think they are as well. Yeah. Yeah. These are gluten-free. These are with like cauliflower flour and cassava flour. Yeah. So that's cool too, to note. Vegan and gluten-free. Love. I guess let's do a cheese at first okay. and then we'll dip. Let's just drop a few in. Actually, I know what these are supposed to be. Replicating. What? They look like cheese it squares. They are, but also have you ever had the ground up brand? Yeah. That's what it is. Oh. Um, they're good. They're like flimsy cheese its I mean they're definitely thin. They're, yeah. But I like them. I like them. They're they have, good. They have good crunch. The serving size is wonderful. 44 crackers for 110 calories. I could easily devour 44 yeah. crackers. These are yummy. Okay. Next. Love them. I thought we would do the sea salt crackers next because then we could just use these crackers as our dip. Perfect. Okay. Should we try one first without anything? Yeah. Just to see. Thank you. <laughs> I gave her like 30 crackers. Depositing. There we go. They're good. They're just plain. They're very bland. They don't even taste like... The other ones are better. Yeah. If you're going to eat them alone. Yeah, I agree. I'm very curious about the dill pickle hummus. Me too. Let's do it. Okay. Sorry. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Ooh. Oh, I like it. If you like pickles, you'll like this. Yeah. I have pickles three times a day, so. If you don't like pickles and you don't like dill, don't get this. Agree. But I like that. Very good. Mm, that's fun for summer. If you make a chickpea tuna mm -hmm. salad sandwich, if you use this as your binder, because yeah. for my chickpea tuna salad, I do hummus instead of mayo. Yes, I like to use the hummus in there too. So this would yep. be really good on that. Next one is... What? Was garlic it? dill? Garlic dill? I'm you curious. Probably also tastes like a pickle. <laughs> I know. I'm curious to see if it'll be super different, but. It's very garlicky. It's good. They're not similar, actually. No, they're not similar at all. Mm. I like them both. They're both delicious. Okay. Next up, we got some queso. We warmed it up, and we're going to have it with the um, the tortilla chips. Oh. <laughs> Unless you don't want us to. Fuck the crackers. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try the tortilla chip by itself first. I think it has nice flavor. It does have nice flavor. Good. I've had this one before. I can't tell. I've had this too. I think it's good. But I didn't get it from Aldi. It was at Target. I like this queso. I like the queso. It's very good. I like both. I like everything. Yeah, me too. This would be, these would be so good for a party, I think. Me too. Like a summer shenanigan. Go Aldi! So, the next thing we're trying are these Elevation plant-based protein bars. They are peanut butter chocolate chip. You know what I think they're supposed to be a riff on? Cliff. Cliff? Elevation. Elevation? Yeah, you're right. Do you want to do the honors? I felt like we could just split it in half. Ugh, okay, fine. You want the whole thing? <laughs> Me and Lauren have eaten so much of <laughs> Yeah, we filmed another video for my channel before this, and now we're eating all this stuff, so that's why I was teasing her. We've eaten so much today. We are, like, taking little, little bites of everything. It's like a tasting menu. Ooh. Interesting. These actually remind me of Zone Bars. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you've ever had those. They're not vegan, like, at all, but... Cheers. Cheers. Do you remember how much these were? I wonder if they're cheaper. They've got to be. They are cheaper. I think they were $2.29. Wow, that's actually really good for a little box. I could be lying so badly. So fact check it later. <laughs> Where's my receipt? They're five fifty nine. I truly thought they were two ninety nine. I don't know if they're worth five dollars and fifty nine cents. To be honest, the inside's a little dry. Yeah, like I don't think they're fine. I mean, they taste like other protein bars I've had, but yeah, but they're not anything to like 
write home about. Also, it's only 13 grams of protein per bar. I also do think that you could just get a better quality bar ingredient wise. Yeah. That's the ingredients thought. aren't bad, but they're just not. You could get better. Yeah. Next. Up next, we got this tub of vegan butter or non dairy buttery spread. This was the thing that was $2.29. Yeah, that one's actually $2.29. And I think it's a good deal because this is huge. It looks very whipped. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Smells fine. It doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't gonna... smell like anything. It doesn't even smell like oil. What's in this? Canola oil? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, we're just gonna try this on a piece of bread. I didn't really have anything else I don't for know us if you to guys put can it on. see that. It's very uh, fluffy. Mm, good. I wonder how it would hold up in baking. It does, yeah. Because it's very um, creamy. Yeah, it does say that you can use it as a spread, saute, fry, and bake, so. Yeah, I just worry that a cookie, it might spread too much. You know what it tastes like? Country crock. I can't believe it's not butter. Um, yeah, like a margarine kind of? Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. Okay, we are moving on to frozen products for right now. We have two different types of meatballs and two different types of veggie burgers. So we're like not excited about this. I, we're not veggie burger people, really. I like some veggie burgers. Like, have you ever had Dr. Prager's mushroom risotto veggie burger? No, I don't. Oh, like you mushrooms. don't like mushrooms? Okay. Well, it's so good. It's not mushroom heavy at all. I think they just call it that, but it's really good. Yeah, some are good, but this one, this was the the regular. Uh, one. Okay, so the first one we're trying is just the veggie burger, um, and it like it looks nasty if I'm honest. And there's five grams of protein, stupid. That one has five grams of protein? This one has five, the other one that we're gonna try has two. Wow, that's actually not bad though. 90 calories and five grams of protein. Yeah, it could be worse. But I think there's edamame in here. It's so dry. It's not good. It's- I don't like it. It's whatever. I, would, I wouldn't buy these. I wouldn't get this. I don't like it at all. This one is the kale quinoa. Yeah, that one's the kale veggie burger made with quinoa and nine veggies. There's like no protein in them at all, right? Two yeah, grams? this one literally was two grams of protein. Okay. So that was like a This bust. one I think looks better. Yeah. It's like just more appetizing to look at. It's so good. I really like this one and I would pro I would probably get that again. Yeah, I would definitely prefer this one. Mm -hmm. Kale. The kale one to the yeah. other veggie. Me too. It really doesn't taste like there's any kale in there. Everything no. is like very ground up in here. There's no texture no. within the patty, if that makes sense. Gluten free, mm -hmm. both vegan. Yeah, a lot of the things that they had there were vegan and gluten free. So, And then they did just have specific products that were only gluten free, not vegan. So if you are gluten free, I think you would have a good time there. Meatballs. Meatball time. Two types of meatballs. The first is zesty Italian. And the other one is what? Just the classic. Just classic meatballs. Okay. Cheers. This is, what are we trying? The meat, Italian. Oh, Italian first. Okay. Fine. Good. They're fine. They are zesty. <laughs> <laughs> and they are quite zesty. Mm -hmm. fine. It's giving a little dry. A little dry. But I think if you cooked them in the sauce, they'd be really good. These could also be fun, like, um... I don't want to finish this. Maybe in like a big ziti or something. Yeah. If you wanted to just make like a quicker meat or maybe in a soup. Mmm. Like an Italian wedding. Mm hmm Nice. Let's move on to classic. Yeah. No. Cheers. I don't feel like they're as dry. Yeah. Because maybe they don't have as much seasoning. Classic <laughs> for the meatballs, cow for the burgers. Yeah. Oh, we have the chicken next. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Okay. We are trying something that we're both excited for, the vegan chickenless products. So we have chickenless patties right here. And then I have the chickenless tenders. We are both big fans of vegan chicken products. So I think hopefully we'll like these. Yeah, I think we're gonna like them. And I feel like they're probably the same thing in different form shapes. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I'm gonna try a tender first. Yeah, let's do tender. Okay. I'm dipping it in ketchup because that's what I would normally do. Why does it pull like that? Not my favorite vegan chicken product. Not what I expected at all. Do you see that inside, guys? It's like shredded chicken is in there. And it's giving me a wet dog taste. Yeah, 
Damn! The breading is good. It's nice and crispy. It cooked really easily and well. But the inside? <laughs> nope. No. Ew. No. Ew. Like the strands are like pulling out already. I'm upset. I was so excited for these. Not good. I would definitely, I would probably never buy these knowing this now. No. So I'm glad we tried. This is a no. The chicken products are a no. So we have two types of cheeses to try. We got the vegan cheddar shreds. And the vegan mozzarella. We just melted it on a piece of cheese, kind of as if it's a grilled cheese. So we're gonna try it that way. All right. It did melt really nicely. I don't think that this is gonna be our best like creation, but whatever. Yeah. Okay, what is this? The mozzarella first? Mozzarella, yeah. This doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> this one doesn't taste like anything, but the texture is really nice melted. It's like so lightly salty. It's very smooth though. It is smooth. Yeah. I have to say like, I know like a lot of vegan cheeses are like, they have, some of them have weird tastes and this is just a not offensive taste. Like a- Yeah. No, I, you're right. Some vegan cheese is really off. This is fine. The mozzarella really tastes like nothing though. Um, like slightly salty and that is it. I'd rather it taste like that though, than have too strong of a- I would agree. Weird taste. Yeah. We're moving on to the cheddar. Also, it's not like gummy on the roof of my mouth. No. Which is nice. Very plain again. They're plain, but this one has more flavor than that. Yeah. Like this one, you could tell that it's trying to be a cheddar. And these would be good for people who are like really scared of vegan cheese though. Brand new. Yeah. Yeah, like, they melt well, texture's nice, flavor's very mild. I'm more impressed with these than I thought it would be. Even though they're plain, I'm impressed with their texture and their yeah. taste. Yeah, because you know, vegan cheese is so hard to melt a lot of the time, yeah. and this melted well, so points for that. We are moving on to dessert. We have three items. This is cookie dough core. You said you've had this brand's... Yeah, their regular cookie dough, and it was okay. really good. Oh, well, like their vegan cookie dough, but yeah without this core in there. Okay, cool. So we have that. And then we just have chocolate pint of ice cream. And what is that? These are the uh, peanut butter non-dairy frozen dessert bars. Okay. Trigger warning because it kind of looks like the protein bar Thanks, that we yes. had earlier. <laughs> um, okay, I asked Francesca. No, it literally <laughs> looks like it. it oh my God. No, this will be better. This will be way better. I asked Francesca before if she wanted to just uh, Lady and and uh, Lady and the Tramp the ice cream bar, and she turned me down. So, okay. <laughs> what do you want to start? Listen, we already know we might end up on websites we don't need anymore. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God. What do you want to start with that? I guess. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> or should we wait? Do you want to do the chocolate? We'll do the chocolate. We'll do this first because this is good. The chocolate ice cream. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and creamy. Yeah. Okay. You don't like it. I like it. The fuck is that? <laughs> Why does it taste like that? Like what? I like it. Kind of tastes like a frosty. I think it's the almond. <laughs> Maybe it's the almond milk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I literally just started to choke on the ice cream. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Life flashed before my eyes. All right. Well, I like this. I would get it. Lauren doesn't like it. I don't love it. I don't need to get it. There's better vegan ice cream. Um, yeah, this isn't like... I wouldn't get this normally. Instead of... No. No. Okay. I will also say they had other ones that they didn't have in stock. I saw them online um, that are made with oat milk. So I wonder if those would maybe be better. Oh, yeah, maybe. And they also had other flavors, but my Aldi and the Aldi that's like close enough to get delivered didn't have anything else they just had chocolate so next oh i like this mmm really better than the chocolate yeah i like it i like the shell our last one cookie dough mm -hmm. it looks like cookie dough yeah oh that is rich oh good here's my thing with this you can make cookie dough at home especially vegan cookie dough because there's no eggs or anything yeah. in it so you can make that at home bake your own cookies have leftover dough and just eat a little bit of it yeah i mean it's good but i just it's like very rich like that's what i'm saying like as a whole yeah as a dessert. whole dessert it's good it's delicious but i say make it at home 
So that is everything we were able to find at Aldi today. Let's do, what are our final thoughts? I think overall, everything was good, not great for yeah. me. Like, the, I don't think I'm like running back to necessarily get anything. Yeah. Um, like, the, I love, I'm a big Trader Joe's girl, personally. You don't like Trader Joe's. You guys know how I feel about Trader Joe's. So and if you don't, I'll talk about it somewhere else. <laughs> and if you video. don't, well then. I, I would agree with that. I think they have a great assortment of items. So if Aldi is your grocery store of choice and you are vegan or looking to try more plant-based foods, I think you're going to have great options. And for the amount of items I got, what did I spend? 50 bucks? Yeah. And then so the I got like nearly 20 items that I spent $50. So yeah, I think the pricing is great. I did. I did really like the dips. I like those hummuses. Me like too. those I would probably go there to four. Um, cause I don't even know anywhere else that has like a dill pickle hummus. No, me either. Um, but like, I'm not going to like run there for the ice cream or the protein bar. Same. No, especially not the chicken. None of the chicken. I think there are bigger brands who just do it better at this point. So yeah, and I definitely wouldn't go for the um, like the meatless meatballs and stuff. No. Like I'm not gonna go out of my way. Like if I were at an Aldi, I would get them. But like I'm not running there for that kind of stuff. Yeah, I fully agree. I feel like there's more vegan products that we just couldn't find. Also, yeah, like I saw on the internet. Um, I don't know if you've heard of it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Heard of that World Wide Web? Yeah, the www. I saw a whole list, and they had vegan ravioli and vegan pizza. Yeah, I, I didn't see any of that. Yeah. I don't think we found like the best of the best that they have to offer. Yeah, so that could just that's just like a location thing. Yeah, like, everyone's locations always have stuff different, so that's nothing to blame on Aldi. Just yeah. like, but yeah, overall, pretty good. Not yeah. great, pretty good though. Yeah, I would agree. So that is everything for this video, but we did film a video over on Francesca's channel. I will have it in the description box below. You can go check that out. We tried really weird food combinations. Some of them were really disgusting, but some of them were actually really good. So be sure to go check that out. It's really funny video, I think. It is. So it is. we had yeah. a fun time. Yeah, that one was fun. So be sure to go check that out and just check out Francesca if you don't know her yet, but I'm sure you do. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for having me, Lauren. <laughs> of course. And we will see you in the next one. Thank for my own channel. Huh, you could do it. Ah! Hi, I'm Lauren and I'm here with my friend. <laughs> I'm obsessed with myself. I just like to stare. I just up my hair. Up right now. No! A pound of butter, actually. Or it's more than a pound. It's more. With 15 ounces. It's two pounds of butter. Almost. It's probably comparable to Earth Balance. Isn't 16 ounces a pound? <laughs> I'm like, it's two pounds. Potatoes really pull their weight. They do. Everybody sleeps on potatoes except for me. It's not bad. It's not the best vegan ice cream. It's definitely not. Who's this? It's spam. It's always spam. You're picking it up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What was I saying? I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm not in your brain. <laughs> I wasn't looking. I was literally looking like this at the Takis. Taki Taki. Taki Taki. 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 Taki.